And after all that anticipation, we're underway. Gators set up three around two. The big fellas, they've got to look for each other on their cross screens. Want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson, and joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Rafter. Shots up, down the lane, finger roll. So easy, guys. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Here they go in transition. Can finish. They work it around the perimeter. Foul on the play. Too aggressive on defense here. He lines up with the foul. He always gets your hand reaching in and getting in trouble. We're seeing two rivals really go at it. Neither team wants to leave here empty-handed. This game is important for a bunch of reasons. We expect these kids to go hard until the final buzzer. Here's another solid junior build. Juniors and seniors are such important pieces of any college team. Having experienced kids like him, it can really help coaches and reinforce team philosophies. Both free throws go. have controlled the tempo here. Gotta love the way they've come out here and really focused on their game plan. They've done a good job making sure the game is being played at their pace. Grady handles the pass. Now with 10 to shoot. Reaction. And he can't get the bounce. Stay tuned for the road to the final four. Here is a look at how the numbers stack up for each team here today. Let's check in and take a look at how both sides are doing with the keys to the game. Hoops 2K8. The Florida Gators go up against the Kentucky Wildcats. This one promises to be a real battle. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at Rock Arena, along with Tracy Wilson and Bill Rafferty. I'm Bird Munkers. Give us your take, Bill. I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Number 12 is one of the strongest power forwards in the country. He's a tremendous threat thanks to the depth shooting touch of his. Number 23 is also a star at the power forward position. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Bounces it to the wing. Tip, and it's 
cooped up by number 14. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a deep burn. Dishes, left wing. Number 14. Has it, left wing. Number 23, backs him down. Ryan's his own, throws it down. And they now go up by two. Right wing. Dishes it to the top of the key. Only a few seconds left in the shot clock. From deep, that one is drilled down to three. He's got three. Number 14, inbounds the ball. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson who has some info for us. But just before the game, I talked to Coach Calipari. He told me offense is not an area of concern for this team. He's confident in their ability to put points on the board and hopes their effectiveness offensively carries over to the other end of the court. We'll see, Brian. Thanks, Tracy. Terrific job clearing some space under the glass. Physicality prevailing. Zero. Lobs it to the baseline. Connects the long lane. They increase their lead to four. We'll head into the break. Score six to two.